we did a thing at the Palladium, and the Queen Mother, it was her 80th birthday, and she came up, or I came backstage to meet her, and she says, I don't suppose you could tell me who shot Jay, huh? I said, no, ma'am, not even for you. And we had three episodes before it was revealed who shot, so we had that whole thing building and building and building, and people said, are they going to show it this week, or this next week? And finally, when we did show that, I mean, it was like the shot heard around the world. People, I mean, airline people, the pilot would say, we know who shot JR. And people were going to restaurants and leaving before the show because they wanted to see that specific show. It was heady days, very heady days. I think it was the highest rating, the second highest, the, the first highest in the United States was MASH, the end of MASH. The second was Dallas. And then, but Dallas uh, worldwide was just tremendous. It was like 380 million people watched it that they know of, but you know, probably a lot more. It was huge, huge around the world. And I don't know why, I can't get it. I don't know why they like that show. We shot Who Shot JR and all that stuff. And, uh, and I had had a vest made with um, holes in it, with tubes coming with water. And uh, I went back to my office and, uh, oh, everybody came in. I wanted everybody to shoot me. And the script supervisor, the makeup lady, everybody shot me, including, you know, with Jim Davis and Mama and Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen said, bang, bang, bang. Take that, Peter Pan son. <laughs> <laughs> you know, jokes like that, in, in jokes. And um, it was really fun. So I said, after I've been shot by about 10, 15 people, numerous times, I said, missed, and had a gin bottle down there. I took the top off and drank it, and the pressure, they sent out the, the gin coming out of me, and that was kind of a funny little joke I just made up. Uh, but it was funny, it paid off, it really is a howl.